interesting result. <laughs> um. <clears throat> microphone placed in there okay so I'm testing okay just resting a little bit uh, so it won't rattle resonate shut down okay sealed on there so I put my hand on here does it still pick up some high frequency yeah, still, you know, due to the sensitivity. And no, those microphones there, the other ones there, they turned down on the fader. It's on this one, in that fader there. But pink noise is interesting on the sub bass. That's a very interesting result. Hmm. Apart from the, um, Bit of a um, low end, but just boost and a high frequency cut. Uh, just just uh, soften harshness on the sensitivity on the left and right sense. But the uh, you have a PEQs on here. Uh, they're turned off at the moment. If I turn them on, a bit like that. It's not too bad. It's interesting, like that, it's not too bad. It's not too bad, that. That's not too bad. Can't get, can't get the, the rim to uh, do a frequency sweep because there's um, there's no way to do a, um, an old channel stereo. But I've been thinking uh, maybe I could create a a mode. Um, I'll just mute that big noise. Create a mode on the. Uh, um, what's it called on the create a child or such um, where I can use um, the RAM and just um, basically output the pink noise to all the channels in the room um, theoretically I think um, I'm not sure if there's another way I can do it with maybe um, connect up the um, down on uh, which is connected uh, but um, it's connected around another different way at the present moment I think it's still talking down to here or talking through a switch box um, I have to just put the uh, the um, HDMI lead I have to have a I think I have a splitter, I think I've got a splitter HDMI connector um, to send the, um, the signal uh, from computer to here and then it's over to here and then from here I will send the, um, the REW 
um, through so it, without the output in here. Um, yeah, it's, it's a bit complicated. <clears throat> It's just the pink noise on the on the storm audio. Um, it's the um, Whoa, gosh. God, it's pressure in my ears, that. Oh, whoa. Oh, I feel a little bit dizzy, that's it. What's <clears throat> rattling back here? Is that? <laughs> yeah, put a little bit of, I think, get some blue tack. <sighs> well, at 25 hertz, it's just ripping heck. <sighs> Wavelengths longer than my room. <laughs> Damn. Oh. Sixteen hurt there. Don't play it too long. And up to that line there. Let's see, it's open. Let's see. Increases by a few dB. Huh. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> hey, every few bit of dB infrasonic helps. Um, open the window a bit wider. Let's see what that does. the same. Okay, change the frequency. Yeah, about 17 hertz there. Okay. Yeah. 
It's only nudged down. It's only nudged down by a tiny DB or so. Oh, that's not too bad. Interesting. Microphone in the seat. Uh, maybe I'll um, put the other microphones in the seat uh, and see what the bass response is like. Uh, but that, that looked pretty um, relatively smooth. Um, nice, uh, nice steady incline upward. <clears throat> um, can only get a sine wave generator to go down to ten hertz on here. Um, um so turn it off. Turn it back on. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three. 66, 68, 670, 73, 75, 77, 80, 82, 85, 90, 99, 97, 100, 113, 117, 120. 133 146 That's getting a bit faint Started going below, um, oof, just dropping down below 20. Oh, oh, felt a queasy. Uh, <laughs> oh. Interesting how the microphone responds uh, with the seat compared to where it is here and how, it, how it's responding to the bass frequencies. Interesting, it's like a it's like the total opposite. 